Hello everyone and welcome back to Juno New Origins where I continue my career. I've been informed that the next update is supposed to be a career update that might improve the, especially the latter part of the career. And so once again, I've started my uh, career playthrough at a time when they're going to be changing stuff in the career, but hopefully, hopefully I'm not going to be doing the stuff, covering the stuff that they're going to be changing. Um, I'll still be in the early part of the career and so the changes that they're making aren't going to be relevant to this part. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's interesting timing once again, uh, just like the first time I did the career playthrough. But anyway, we will continue as is. Now there have been a lot of comments uh, attempting to compare Juno New Origins to KSP and I can't tell whether these people are being foolish or clever. Uh, either they're being foolish, in which case they actually believe that uh, demeaning Kerbal Space Program on the channel of a person who uses a Kerbal as their profile pic uh, is a good idea and will make me like Juno better, or they're being clever and they're actually trying to make me hate Juno New Origins uh, because uh, by insulting Kerbal Space Program that would be a good way of doing that. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to delete those comments from here on out, and if people are persistent about it, I'll just stop them from appearing on the comments entirely. I, I think Juno you know, no Origin, New Origins should be able to be a game without being compared to Kerbal Space Program. And they're very different games. I think they appeal to very different audiences. Um, I thought I did the... I thought I did the going high. Oh, I guess... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, so... Pedro mentioned that I needed to deploy the payload. Is that right? Maybe that's why it didn't complete? This one managed to do it. But maybe we should make it bigger so that I can get over to the water. So that we can complete that mission as well. Since this means that the previous launch was sort of a waste. We could have two stages. Let's just do that. That'll be nicer. With So, the principle as far as when you stage is that you take your ISP, you multiply by 10, or it's technically the exhaust velocity that you want, but anyway, ISP multiply by 10, and that should be the delta V of the stage. So, if we take a look at this stage here, do we want to increase it anymore? Not really. Well, I don't know why they... Okay, here, ISP 220. And so I've got... 2,280 meters per second of delta V, that's about 10 times 220, and so I don't really want more out of this stage. Uh, it's time to stage. It's time to have another stage there. Well, that's as small as I can make that. It does mean that it's more expensive. Okay, 3,240. I'll just leave it like that. I think we could probably do better, but... It's okay. It's 59,000 now. Okay, so I guess I'll have to deploy that payload. Let's see if we can get to the water, water though. Um, the command unit has too many stages assigned. Uh, well, let's see if there's anything that increases how many stages we could have. Max stage is three. Oh, but it, it's not talking about the stages, it's talking about the actual stagings. Um, okay. Well, we've got tech points. Max stage is five. Probably a good idea. I wonder if I can sort of squish them together, though. We've got four. No mention. Yeah, yeah, we can just squish them. There we go. All better. Okay. Still going for this water here. Which is slightly closer than that, uh, than that one. Alright. Off we go. We do want to get to 80 kilometers, though. Okay, staging. 
Okay, 43 kilometers. Oh, 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 I, I went too far. Oh, no, I messed it up. I messed it up. Oh, no. I don't have enough control to turn it. I should have left the gimbal to 10 degrees here. Uh... Well, we still got 35 seconds, so maybe I can get that apoapsis up. It just said leave the atmosphere with a payload. It didn't say deploy the payload. And sounding rockets usually have them stay attached. Even the score satellite was left attached to the Atlas rocket when it got to orbit. Okay, we need to just go horizontal. Oh, we're done. Okay, where did we end up? Uh, just a little bit short because of that flip. But then again, the drag coming down might sort of blunt that a little bit. We might want a little bit more. Next time we won't carry the payload and that might help. Okay, expose the probe. Fine. Okay, now we've completed the, the contract. Sort of harpoon-like thing. Hunting for Moby Dick over here? I don't think this is very scientific. Somebody suggested that the settings might not be up to the highest possible quality. I thought I had it uh, highest possible quality, but maybe... Terrain high, enable textures, seems the highest. I don't know. Seems like I've got the best possible stuff. Somebody said, if you want explosions, go to settings and change the graphics quality. Come on, glide! Glide! These cheaty reaction wheels can let you glide to it. Well, we are extending a little bit. But I don't know if it can glide that much. Well, we got distance flying. But we're dropping like a rock now. Yeah, we're just gonna end up there. Also, the time warp setting, I don't know. Fast forward speed. Okay, well, I think I'll bump that up to 4x. I'm amazed it can hold this posture even now. It should be pointing straight at the ground, really. But I guess this is an uh, aerodynamically stable position for it. The center mass and center lift must be really close together. Is it going backwards right now? It ended up going slightly backwards. Go figure. Don't know how that happens. Yeah, I'm not getting explosions. <laughs> uh, so something in the setting is supposed to improve with the explosions? Where's the explosions? Oh no, it says explosions here. Hi! I've got explosions on high. Something must be wrong. It, Maybe the way I installed parallax might be messing things up, because I'm clearly not getting parallax at all either. Okay, we really did leave the atmosphere with a payload. Going sideways. Crash at least 100 kilometers away from the village. Well, now that we can uh, package up with wet rockets. Okay. So that'll be easy. I said. <laughs> I think this rocket should be able to do it. Without that flip. I'm willing to test that theory out with 59,000. Oh, let's get the payload off, though. Targeting village. Well, don't put it that way. Drop a rocket in the water, drop a rocket far from the village. Sounds like compatible to me. Let's 
staging. Okay. It's looking good there. We'll even get into space. Okay, we might be going too far. <laughs> we might be going too far. Stop, stop, stop. Uh Okay, okay. That's that's fine. That's that's how I wanted it. <laughs> okay. Uh reaction wheel time. Definitely 100 kilometers. We'll try to once again point in a way that it might... We don't want aerodynamics actually this time. I don't think we want to stretch any further. So we'll just sort of go straight into the ground as much as possible. Or water. Well, yeah, I'm a real, uh, I'm a little nervous about going too far, so I'm actually going to try and point retrograde to get more drag. We're over water after all. I mean, it'd be even more drag to be sideways, but I can't tell what it'll flip like that right now. We released the payload fairing last time. The aerodynamics might be different this time. I'll even use this thing to try and hold retrograde. But yeah, we're getting perilously close to not being over water. Okay. Drag slowing us down. Could have put a parachute on. Okay. And... It didn't explode! It, it, it hit the water and it's floating. Completed the contract going sideways. All right, I guess we can recover a vessel maybe. Yep, we got 15,000 back. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Maybe I should uninstall and reinstall the game or something just in case. Now tell me if you think that's necessary. Uh, the, the graphics, I mean, I remember explosions in this game. Okay, so we've done those. So I think we've gone pretty fast. Maybe we should go back to doing harder things. Ground vehicles. Stay grounded. We need a heavy... Heavier vehicle so that doesn't bounce all the time. I remember making the vehicles with a large number of wheels and we need to get to the peak. We've already accepted those so we should do them. It can be slow, it just needs to stay grounded and have a camera. Okay, alright, we are going to try to make a ground vehicle. Oh, I think I've still got the vehicles that I used in the previous attempt. Yeah, I'd used this sort of thing. Z car, X car, X car 2. This one has better tires, but we don't have the technology for this, right? Few issues. Not yet available, yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, but maybe. This one doesn't have rugged. Is it okay? Runway. Too much volume in the command disk dedicated to its battery. Okay, well, that's easy to fix. I put fuel in just for mass. Maybe I should add a rocket engine just for fun. Okay, well, anyway, let's try it. I'd like the rugged tires more, but... Let me make sure that these are tuned to the right sort of thing. Oh, uh, gear ratio 1. You want more torque. Oh, that one, those are 3. Oh, these were still at 1 for some reason. So, we're not going fast, but hopefully we'll stay on the ground. Let me 
just add more fuel. Just to give it heft. No, oh, 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 it's it's on my throttle. Stop, 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 stop. <gasps> Gosh. Okay. Huh. It was operating on my throttle and it uses W for for it. Anyway, that's fine for now. Okay, it's not, not as stable as I was hoping for. But it didn't leave the ground, so that's good. Oh, I forgot to bring the camera. Okay, proceeding once again. I'm debating whether to have the stability assist on as well, but I'll leave it off. Might do more harm than good. Okay, peak is there. I'm trying to go up this way. Oh, I hopped. Ah. Oh. Can still hop. Okay, we need a different gear ratio possibly. <laughs> Uh, this might not be the best path to do the five kilometer thing. Oh, that's definitely not a pit I want to go into. I want to stay attached to the ground. I probably should have had all wheel drive. I mean, not all wheel drive, all wheel steering. Oh, is this. It's not good enough for this? I think we still don't have enough torque. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, this might not be as good a path as I thought. There's that pit in front. Uh oh, oh, oh no! Don't go up! Don't go, don't go backwards! I'm trying to go forwards. I'm trying to go forwards. Uh oh, I'm going backwards. Oh, it keeps accounting the distance even if I'm not grounded. It just needs. Oh, that's not gonna help. Hmm. Okay, yeah. You know what? I want more torque. I want all the gear ratio. Six. Sixty-three thousand. Oh gosh, this is expensive. Can't let it just explode. But then again, it seems to explode whether I want it to or not. How's our battery life anyway? Well, I've exceeded ten kilometers up there. So yeah, it doesn't reset the distance when I leave the ground, so that's okay. And this time I can't go above 10 meters per second, which might be a good thing. Maybe I should just go up this way. I think that's the way I went the last time. The way I'm going on that path is how I went on the other mission, which had eight checkpoints. Or something like that. Thing. I was just remembering the wrong mission. But then I still need five kilometers somehow, so... Highest climb! Stand on top of it. Well, we'd have to get our druid out for that. Okay, yeah, we had... We used only about 10% of the battery. But we have to go five times distance now. And now going down is fraught. Uh, let's just go down the way we went up. Uh, we're going fast. Uh... Roller coaster. Um, I'm gonna go up a little bit to slow down. Oh, this is steeper though. Brakes. Brakes are always, you know, dangerous too. You do it too hard. Okay, so that's two kilometers. I should have put a parachute on here. We could go off the end of the runway and and survive it, and then continue driving from there. Gotta see if this, with all its torque, can go up the runway as well. Should be able to. 
Oh no, oh no! Okay, well, now we're like this. <laughs> now, now we're upside down. Okay, that's fine. Um, except our steering is weird. I don't, I don't know if it's actually steering much. I think we're just basically using a gyro in the command core. Or something, because I don't see it steering. Oh, it goes much faster like that. Yeah, but my steering is not working very well. But we can definitely go up in this direction. Okay, let me... Oh, stopping was too good. <laughs> I was hoping to flip. Yeah, the wheels aren't steering anymore. Did I not put steering on those bottom ones? Maybe. Uh oh, not those. Uh, uh oh. No, oh now they steer. That's interesting. Oh, but I'm stuck. No! Keeps panning the camera. We're so close. I needed that rocket engine. The only thing I could get stuck on. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough, I guess. Okay, we did one. The five kilometers proved elusive. Well, I guess we've done a rocket, we've done a car. We need a plane. Stay under 15 kilometers, fly horizontally, hold speed for one kilometer. But it doesn't pay very much. Well, I had this shark, but this is for a different purpose. We don't have jet engines yet. Oh, I didn't realize the landing gear was attached to that. Okay, well, just take the... Mm. Why aren't you coming off? Come off. Oh, fine. Be that way. Gnome engine. Got the Karalox in. 4.6 minutes is quite a long time. This is overdoing it in price, though. Let's just get the... the this, what's making this so expensive? Well, the RCS ports, definitely. Those were crazy expensive. Okay, now 8,000. Just make this as small as possible. That's pretty low on the thrust weight ratio though, but again, we're not going very fast. 32,000 still. So, sacrificing a lot of money for this, considering you're not paying us. Oh, whatever the heck happened there, I don't want it. No, go back. The littlest gnome. Well, uh, we probably need a little bit more gnome. Maybe we could get a better engine. We've got some tech points, I'm sure. But this isn't too bad. 27,000 just for the engine, though. But the better engines have just got to be more expensive, right? Propellers... Are propellers cheap? I didn't try propellers last time. We've got 11,000 for electric motor and 7,000. Still cheaper than the rocket engine. And we have the tech points. Battery as a fuel type. Okay, we'll try propellers. Sorry, I'm downgrading you from a rocket engine to a propeller engine plane. I know it's very disappointing. Okay, that's the prop. Where's the electric motor? There's the electric motor. Oh. That's big. Max speed 50, but then thrust weight ratio... 
reverse blades. Well, it says auto reverse motor, so the fact that it's a pusher prop, it should understand that. It's not giving me a whole lot of confidence that this actually works. Max RPM, 3,700. RPM is only 1,000 there. But then this says we might rip the engine apart, so... Uh... Power consumption is quite high. I don't know, it's not giving me a thrust weight ratio, but with propeller planes that's hard to determine. We don't need fuel fuel. We should have unlocked that technology that allows electric tanks. It says 1.23 kilowatt hours. So alright. 162 seconds. So 2 minutes and 42 seconds. Okay, what's the issue? Root of the wing is too- oh yeah, this is before we unlock that sort of thing. Oh, we have mob propellant fuel. Okay, we need to get rid of that. And what about this propeller shark? Still more issues. Still, I thought you had resized it to where it was okay. Gosh. Happy now? Okay, it's happy now. Okay, first propeller plane. Engine on your origins. Well, yeah, I, I probably forgot something. Motor input. Throttle. Surely. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, now we got something, but I think it's pulling us backwards. Auto reverse was not what I thought it was. Oh, is there an extra one? Reverse plates. Okay. Would have thought that was managed by the electric motor, but okay. That isn't pushing us forward either. Also, not much power. Maybe I should turn off the auto reverse motor. Sync with motor is enabled. Where is sync with motor? I don't see a sync with motor option. Anyway, let's make this bigger. I feel like it wasn't doing enough. But now our power consumption's gone up. Oh, now it's going in the right direction. Um, well, okay, I said in the right direction, but this isn't quite in the right direction. Go, turn. It's still really slow. Okay, um, let's just light, recover craft. But I mean, this thing says it can take 3,700 RPM. See why we shouldn't use that? More torque? Well, that seems to increase the price. Uh, maybe smaller engine, more torque is better. Seems to be turning the propeller. It's not a big problem. Bigger propeller. Well, it increases our max speed and all. The pitch is fixed. We can probably do with less. I mean, we have pretty good torque. I mean, we, we seem to be... Moving. Well, I'll, I'll fix that if it turns out to be the wrong way around. Turning angle on the nose gear. Okay. Okay, well... Just, I want my rocket engine. <laughs> ah. Uh... Dead engines, rocket engines, anything but this. Okay. 
Uh, well, the battery is also being consumed really, really fast. So we need the electric tanks. Something between the propeller pitch, the torque, and all that other business. Why can't I just have jet engines? Okay, well, I'm sure people are itching to give me some tips at this point, so I'm gonna hold off. And uh, you, you can give me your tips on the propeller engines in this game. And, and then we'll see. I think that's probably the best plan under the circumstances. So, yeah. Otherwise, probably battery, fuel type. I'm just gonna unlock that. I just know that's gonna come up. And we're going to try again next time. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.